Today I'll be showing you how to calibrate the dissolved oxygen sensor in milligrams per liter. I'm going to calibrate using Spark View running on my computer, but you can also calibrate using the Spark Science Learning System. It doesn't matter whether you're using the water quality sensor or the dissolved oxygen sensor, the calibration technique is the same. To begin, connect your sensor to your interface and place the probe into your water sample. It's best to let the probe equilibrate with the sample for several minutes to make sure that it's at uh, temperature equilibrium. Also, make sure that the probe is submerged below the silver ring found on the probe if yours has one. Next, we need to find the calibration value. This can be found in the dissolved oxygen sensor manual in Appendix C. To find the value, we need to know the actual barometric pressure as well as the temperature of our water sample. I'm going to use other passport sensors to find this information. In Appendix C, you'll notice the atmospheric pressure is across the top of the table, and the temperature in degrees Celsius is along the left-hand side. Cross-reference those values to find the saturation value in milligrams per liter. For my sample, it's 9.1 milligrams per liter. Next, we need to open or create a lab file. I'm going to build a simple page with a digits display of dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter. Next, we need to open experiment tools, select calibrate sensor, and make sure that the measurement dissolved oxygen in milligrams per liter is selected. Then click next. We can now enter our calibration value into the standard value. Again, for my sample, it was 9.1 milligrams per liter. And next, we need to add a small amount of distilled water into the sample bottle, about 5 milliliters. It's best to calibrate using distilled water, as dissolved solids can affect the solubility of oxygen. Place the probe into the storage bottle with the distilled water, and adjust the height of the probe so that it is about one centimeter above the surface of the water. Then place the probe with the sample bottle back into your water sample so they can come to temperature equilibrium. Wait at least one minute for this to happen. After one minute, remove the probe and sample and shake vigorously for about 30 seconds. We want to create a 100% humidified environment inside of the bottle, which to the sensor is equivalent to oxygen saturated water. After 30 seconds, place the bottle on a flat surface and make sure there are no drops on the tip of the sensor. Then press read from sensor. Then click OK to return to your experiment. We are now ready to begin collecting data. Remove the probe from the storage bottle and place it into your water sample. Again, making sure that it's submerged below the silver ring on the probe if it has one. Press start to begin collecting data. And you're ready to go. Hopefully this has made calibrating the dissolved oxygen sensor easier for you and your students. Thank you.